All right, today we have a story. Um, it is actually called a folk tale, so it's a very old tale, and um, it's from Latin America. Um, so, and it's a really fun one. The author is Alma Flor Ada, and she is the one who retold the story. And the illustrations are by Claudia Legnazzi. I hope I said that right. Anyway, and they are just gorgeous. Look at the vivid colors. That means just bright and just beautiful. All right, this is a funny little story. I think you'll really like it. So, the rooster who went to his uncle's wedding. All right, we have our title page. Here we go. Early one morning, when the sun had not yet appeared, a dapper young rooster was busy shining his beak and combing his feathers. It was the day of his uncle's wedding, and the rooster wanted to be on time. And dapper just means um, he's a good-looking young guy. When everything looked perfect, he sat off down the road with a brisk and springy walk. And that means he was excited and he was just walking with a bounce. Well, with each step, the rooster nodded his head, thinking of all the wonderful things waiting for him at the wedding banquet. Mm. Oh boy, I would be nodding my head too and walking this way. <laughs> Before long, his stomach began to growl. Oh, I wish I'd eaten breakfast, he said. Then something caught his eye. There, next to the road, sat a single golden kernel of, cor of corn. Perfect, the rooster thought. But when he got closer, he could see that the kernel was lying in a puddle of mud. If he ate it, he would get his beak all dirty. Oh, the rooster was hungry, but he couldn't go to his uncle's wedding with a dirty beak. What to do, peck or not peck? The rooster stared at the kernel. Mm. What do you think he'll do? Do you think he'll eat it? Then with one sharp peck, he gobbled it down and wound up with a beak full of mud. Oh no! He did it, didn't he? Did you think he would? So the rooster looked around quickly for someone who could help him. First he noted the, noticed the grass growing on the side of the road. The rooster said to the grass, Oh, dear grass, velvety grass, won't you please clean my beak so that I can go to my uncle's wedding? But the grass answered, No, I won't. Why should I? That wasn't very helpful or nice, huh? Well, the rooster looked around to see if there was anyone else who could help him. Just then he saw a lamb grazing in the field. Maybe he could get he could scare the grass into helping, so he asked, Oh, dear lamb, woolly lamb, please eat the grass that won't clean my beak so I can go to my uncle's wedding. But the lamb answered, No, I won't. Why should I? So the rooster strutted back and forth in dismay. But then he saw a dog walking on the road, so he asked, Dear dog, fierce dog, please bite the lamb that won't eat the grass that won't clean my beak so that I can go to my uncle's wedding. But the dog answered, No, I won't. Why should I? Well, the rooster was not one to give up, so he went over to a stick lying by the side of the road and asked, Oh, dear stick, hard stick, won't you please hit the dog that won't bite the lamb, that won't eat the grass, that won't clean my beak so I can go to my uncle's wedding? But the stick answered, No, I won't. Why should I? Well, the rooster was beginning to worry. Still, he looked around for someone else to help, and he spotted a campfire the shepherds had lit. He got close to the fire and asked, Dear fire, bright fire, please burn the stick that won't hit the dog, that won't bite the lamb, that won't eat the grass, that won't clean my beak so I can go to my uncle's wedding. But the fire answered, <laughs> No, I won't. Why should I? Do you think he's going to make it on time? What is going to happen? Well, the rooster ruffled his feathers and he paced. Oh, would anyone be able to help him in time? And then he noticed a brook crossing the field. He bent over and whispered as sincerely as he could. Dear water, clear water, please put out the fire that won't burn the stick, that won't hit the dog, that won't bite the lamb, that won't eat the grass, that won't clean my beak so I can go to my uncle's wedding. 
But the water answered, No, I won't. Why should I? Oh, no. Now the poor rooster couldn't think of anyone else to ask for help. He lifted his muddy beak up and crowed, Woo! Woo! Cock-a-doodle-doo! Oh, it was then he, th he noticed the sun beginning to appear among the clouds, and he said, Dear son, my good friend, please dry out the water. That won't put out the fire. That won't burn the stick. That won't hit the dog. That won't bite the lamb. That won't eat the grass. That won't clean my beak. So I can go to my uncle's wedding. And the son answered, Of course I will. Every morning you greet me with your bright song, my friend. I will gladly dry out the water. Oh, wow. Were you expecting that? But then the water cried out, Oh no, please don't dry me out. I'll put out the fire. And the fire cried out, No, please don't put me out. I'll burn the stick. And the stick in turn cried out, No, please don't burn me. I will hit the dog. But the dog cried out, Oh no, 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 please don't hit me. I will bite the lamb. So the lamb quickly cried out, No, please don't bite me. I'll eat the grass. But the grass cried out very loudly, No, please don't eat me. I'll clean the rooster's beak. <laughs> Look at this. And before you know it, the rooster's beak shone as bright as the day. So the rooster said goodbye to everyone with a happy cock-a-doodle-doo and went on his way to his uncle's wedding. He walked with a brisk and springy walk, making sure to get there in plenty of time for the banquet. Look at that shine. Yay! Oh, and there's a picture of the author, Alma Florida, who told this story. And this is the illustrator, Claudia Legnazzi. And she made the beautiful pictures, the illustrations. Wow, isn't that a fun little book? All right, lots of non-helping hands until they were made to, though. So, this book is all about cause and effect. So, cause is like... If I go swimming, the effect would I would be wet. So the cause is why I'm wet. Why am I wet? Because I went swimming. Um, why am I eating? Because I was hungry. Why did I get a big cake with candles? Because it was my birthday. Why am I carrying an umbrella? Because it rained. And why am I taking a bath? <laughs> because I'm dirty. So. That's cause and effect. The cause is why and the effect is what happened. So in this story, we have lots of cause and effect and that is your assignment. So your assignment is here, but it'll have words on it. So the beak got dirty. That was the cause. And so he wanted the grass to clean it. So the cause was because it was dirty. So he wanted the grass to clean it. Well, the grass said no. So, the cause was the grass wouldn't help him, so he got the sheep to try and eat the grass. Okay, well the sheep said no, so the cause is the sheep wouldn't help him, so he said, dog, will you bite at the sheep? So that's the effect. Well, he said no. So here we go again. The cause is he, the dog wouldn't help, so he got the stick to beat the dog, which is kind of mean, isn't it? Well, the, the stick said no. So the cause is the, the stick wouldn't help, so he got the fire to help. That's the effect. Well, the fire wouldn't help, so he got the brook, which is the river. So the river was the effect. Well, the river wouldn't help. So what? Oh, so the sun helped. So when the sun helped, that was the effect of him going because the water wouldn't help. So it all is, it all goes together. So the sheep would not help, would not eat the grass. So what was the effect? He went and asked the, what did he ask the dog, the sun, or the fire? The stick wouldn't help the cause. So what was the effect? He went and asked the one of these. And the brook wouldn't help. That was the cause. So what's the effect? He went and asked the sun. So cause and effect. All right. Wasn't that a fun story? Good luck.